activity if it's something that you're looking for. So again, this is in the link bank. Um, this is gonna be make a CD Saturn. This is a craft activity, um, which is always fun. I am not the most artistic person, so it's funny to me that I'm showing people how to do a craft because uh, yeah, you might get a good laugh out of it, but it's a very useful activity. It's cheap. Um, if you have leftover CDs at your library from you know the late 90s and early 2000s, it's a good way to repurpose those. Um, it's a lot of things that you should already have at your library. So let me go ahead and pull that up real quick. see here. All right, I should be sharing our STEM activity clearinghouse. So if you didn't see how to get there, this blue button that says search STEM activities, that is going to be your best bet for getting to the STEM activity clearinghouse. So here we are at the clearinghouse. And you can go through, you can browse all activities, you can go to all new items. I would recommend going straight to this universe of stories collection. Um, that's going to have most of the information and this is about 80 activities that we've chosen that either are in the universe of stories summer reading theme manual or that we picked them from a different place and we thought that they would just go along well with that so here i am um there's 80 activities on here i'm just going to actually do a search for cd pull up this first one make a cd saturn but again that universe of stories collection is about 80 activities that we thought would be really really good for a library um, to use all right, so I'm gonna go down to the materials list. So really all you're gonna need is a styrofoam ball, a CD, some glue. I would use Elmer's white glue, um, uh, a toothpick, uh, and some glitter. Um, you can use other things like modeling clay if you want. I would recommend glitter um, just because it's, it's, gonna be, have, it's gonna be shinier, it's gonna be more exciting. You can see some of these really good CD Saturns on the right banner. I am sorry to tell you guys, mine will probably not look like this that I'm about to make, but that's okay. So what we're gonna do real quick, um, we have our other camera. So Kellyanne's gonna set up the, let's see. Yeah, you can click on the link bank um, CD Saturn, or just to show you again, if you go to uh, Starnet Libraries, and then you click on this search STEM activities, and then from there, um, you would go to the Universe of Stories collection. And so we'll go do it again for the next activity too, and I'll show you how to access that collection. So I'm gonna, we're gonna kind of mess around with our tech real quick. We're gonna try to get our video screen over here working. Uh, so if you'll just bear with us for about 20 seconds, that would be great. All right, I'm going to do a sound check and see if everyone can hear us over here. Can everybody hear Kellyanne if you would just put a yes? Okay, great. All right. And now you should also be seeing a, um, a the backdrop here with the blue um, as a, your main video screen. If not, please do navigate up there to your options and find a way to make the blue background show up for you. That's our close-up camera on mm -hmm. our activity. All right, so first thing we have here, this is a styrofoam ball. This is a two-inch styrofoam ball. I've cut it in half. This is a little bit more dense of a styrofoam ball than I've used in the past, so it took a little bit more effort. Um, it still wasn't that hard. I just used a... Uh, have. This is something that you would do at your library um, before your patrons got there. You definitely don't want to let your kiddos um, or even honestly older patrons, you know, cut these styrofoam balls apart. So these are going to be our two halves of Saturn. I'm going to reach over here and get another. All right. So do you guys remember these CDs? I about forgot about them, but um, so this CD, of course, it has one side that has like a label on it, or this one's just white. And then the other side um, is that you know, standard reflective coloring. So this is gonna be our top. Then our two halves are gonna go on like that. Seems pretty easy, right? Uh, now we could just make a boring all white Saturn, but we are going to get some glitter out. And the first thing I'm gonna do, Kelly, would you grab me one of those white paper plates? Absolutely. All right. Thank you. Yeah, let's get some random, some colors here. So we have a white, we have a gold. Now, I'll be honest, I think these are actually sprinkles because it's what we had on hand. I wouldn't use sprinkles at your library. I would use glitter. Um, so just giving you a heads up on that. And then if you see a paintbrush in there. 
Perfect. Okay, guys, I am honestly not a uh, very good artist, but we are going to make do here. So I'm going to take this glue, and you don't really need a lot. You could also color this. You could paint this. Um, you could use modeling clay, and we're going to decorate our Saturn, okay? And it does take a little bit, a uh, little bit of time to dry, um, so we won't get to show you that really. So we're just going to put this on top, and this is not going to be a accurate scientific representation, and I don't think you should worry about that with your kiddos either. Just let them have fun, make whatever color Saturn they want. And let's see, let's put a little more glue on here. All right, and Kelly, you can go ahead and look for a toothpick for me. There should be a wooden toothpick in there. Not a problem. All right. All right, so I know this is not the most amazing looking thing in the world, but uh, oh, it's beautiful, bro. thank you. I need that positive reinforcement. Um, so these are going to be our two halves, right? Now from here, with your CD, what you can do, especially if you have time, you can actually make little rings, okay? So let's do, how about our silver here? Oh, I'm so glad I brought those wet wipes. We're going to do just a... Uh, just for time's sake, we'll do kind of one little silver or two silver rings here. All right, so you see. No, uh, I see somebody in the chat. I fixed the CD label. Nope, I just got an old recycled CD. Um, so this one had a white label, but a lot of them that you find will have, you know, like AOL 97 or something on it like that, that you can cover in glue. Um, or you could get just a purely blank CD. So maybe, you know, maybe we'll do a little bit more. I'm feeling a little artistic here. We'll do some gold too. All right. <laughs> so the next step here, we're going to attach our CD with our Saturn now. So go ahead and put some glue right here. This might be a good chance if you have better glue, like, uh, Gorilla Glue or something, you could use that. I know, well, I know we have some, but I'm, I can just see myself getting my hands stuck to this and doing the <laughs> webinar with a CD stuck to my hands for us. And then on the back side, I'm doing the same thing. So you could even decorate the bottom if you had time, because um, we're on a webinar. I'll probably not do that. Oh, here we go. So stick your paper clip in here. Let's see. So the glue is going to help it um, stay firm, but this, oh, excuse me, toothpick is going to be what really keeps it in there. All right. Just a work of art right here. Ooh. And then, ooh, and ah. <laughs> so here's the fun part. Okay, and let's pretend that we've decorated. We've done a lot more rings with a lot more glitter. Um, oh, I see somebody. Okay, I'm going to hold that question. Um, but what you can do to make this really cool, so I have one of these hanging in my office. Um, you stick a uh, paper clip in here, and I think, Kelly, there might be a paper clip in there. Um, but the key is Saturn does not sit perfectly up and down like this. Saturn tilts at about a 27 degree angle. So you can stick a little paper clip uh, about one inch to the side with a little loop on it, and that way, that's oh, fine. Uh, so stick a paper clip in a little to the side, and that way you're gonna have it um, tilt at a 27 degree angle, and it's gonna be more like Saturn's actual tilt. Ah, oh, very nice. I'll show you how to do this real quick. So something like, not directly on top, maybe do it about, yeah, half an inch to the side. And then from here, you can hang it from a string, you can hang it by your door, you can hang it, uh, you know, or have your patrons uh, hang it somewhere at their home. And I'll show, oh, you got the wet wipe out, thank you. <laughs> it got messy over here. All 
So we'll take just a minute to um, transition back to our normal view. Or actually, Kelly, why don't you just leave this one on and I'll just open this other camera back up too real quick. 